Welcome to One to One Kids Online, hosted by a selection of really cool leaders from One to One Kids. Join them so you can learn about the Bible and grow in your faith. Once again, welcome to One to One Kids Online. Hey kids, welcome to One to One Kids Online. I'm Matt. I'm Jeremy. I'm Cooper. <laughs> And I am Matt, and today we're going to start off with a game. Good old game. So this game is called Guess the Travel Time. So we're going to give you different places, a start point and a destination, and you've got to say how long it takes to get there. So Cooper's going to start. Uh, do you know how long it takes to get from Alfreden to Creswick? Mm, now, very specific and local. How do you want to guess first? Oh, I reckon it'd be about 14 minutes. 14, reckon, minutes. 14 minutes, 36 seconds. Oh wow, uh, how many milliseconds? No, oh, it doesn't matter, but... Oh, okay, I'm gonna go 18 minutes, 42 seconds, and yeah. 99 okay. milliseconds. Well, the answer is about to actually be up on the screen. So oh, the answer okay. is, there it is, kids. Did you get it right? We didn't, I'm pretty sure. None of you are correct. But now I've got one. What about if you drove from Ballarat to Belan? Oh, I'm gonna say I haven't done that drive many times. It's gonna be like... 25 minutes. 25 minutes? I'm going 45 minutes. It's a long way. I'm on my way. Yeah. Well, I think the answer's right there. Well, yeah. Where are you correct? Did we get it right? What about driving from here, Ballarat, to Sydney? Oh, that's a bit longer. Ooh. That's a fair trip. Going to go 15 hours. That's a long time. 15 hours? Yeah. Stop for a Macca's coffee. No, nah, there's a few Macca's. Stops there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go about 12 hours. 12 hours. Yeah. Okay, well, the answer is... There you go, right. Well, well we went close time. again, I don't think. Uh, so what's the most difficult part of this activity? I guess planning it all out, like how many stops you're going to take, yeah. food, water, mm -hmm. who's driving. Planning what towns you're going to go through. Yeah, true. I can Matt get lost stops. so many times. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. get lost as well. Mm -hmm. So this is part of our uh, video today celebrating God's plan, that we don't actually have to plan, oh, it's still good to plan things in your life, but we don't have to be worried about planning our lives because God's already done it for us. Now, you also may be wondering why we are dressed up so weirdly today, even though we look so good, but um, I'm actually dressed up as a classical uh, dressing gown shepherd, and I have my cane right here, hiking pole. Um, I'm the Australian shepherd. G'day, mate. Yeah. How you going? So both very relevant things because this is the Christmas series. Not Christmas. Yeah. And uh, the shepherds actually take a pretty big role in the Christmas story. So they do. They do. Give them the gifts to yeah. all that. Hey. So what's our next game, Cooper? Uh, our next game is I want you to grab a piece of paper. And we're going to create your own map. Wow. Well, yeah. Anything like your house, your Minecraft house. You might. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Just easy to create with the nine pieces of paper. Um, Map of Australia, map of the world if you really want to. The map of your fridge. Map of your fridge, yeah. Pantry, where the, that's a where, good the, one. where the best stuff is. Yeah. You can do a map of the world if you want. Mm. But now, me and Cooper, we're actually going to draw our own maps for you. Okay, I don't even know what I'm going to draw. Mm. I might draw the big park.
Hey guys, how'd you go? Great year, good map. We did. We created some good ones. Now, I hope it looks pretty good because mine's pretty detailed. Mm. What about yours, Kato? It's pretty detailed? I couldn't remember how to draw my own house, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Did you plan it well? Yeah, see, that's the tough thing about drawing maps. You've got to plan where everything is, don't you? Wow, that just reminds me of God, though. Yeah. Bringing us back to, like, our Christmas thing. Yeah, true. Everything was planned, like Christmas. How great is it? If there was no Christmas, then when was Jesus going to be born? That was part of the big plan. And for plus, now. were you guys going to get presents? Yeah, yeah true. No. That's the that's a big that's one. That's a big thing. And was Santa going to get his cookies and milk? You never <laughs> know. But you want to see mine? Now, mine's pretty amazing. I did, if you can guess, Vic Park. How good is Vic Park? It's pretty Home good. Home of cricket. Yeah. Everyone loves cricket. Mm. Now, I crawled because I'm an outback wanderer. I crawled from St. Pat's all the way through Vic Park, through the shrubs, trees, bark. It was chasing a lost sheep, actually. Yeah. And then I came all the way to one to one. So there you're right here. How good am I? No, I actually won't show you mine because it's of my house and it's quite personal because wow. I do the uh, pathway to the toilet many times and you guys don't need to see that. Wow. Well, what happens if they come over here? They might need the toilet. Yeah. So we've been talking about planning a lot today and how God has a plan for our life. Mm. Now, this could actually be the big idea for today that we can celebrate God's plan. God's plan. Big, mm -hmm. big plan. Yeah. Now, this actually reminds me of a story, Cooper. Yeah, which is going to be shown right about now. Today, we'll be talking about a plan God had, one to save the world. This plan was a long time coming. For generations, people had been waiting to see what God would do. And now God was finally ready to reveal his big plan for saving the world. Beginning with a young girl. At the middle of God's plan were two people, Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph were planning to marry each other. Then one day, when Mary was all alone, the angel Gabriel came to her and said, Mary, God has chosen you to be the mother of the Savior of the world. As you can imagine, this was big news to Mary. She was going to have a baby? A baby who would grow up to be the Savior of the world? That's quite a plan. But Mary and Joseph said, Okay, God and chose to follow God's plan. Not long after Mary's visit from the angel, while she was still pregnant, the time came for Mary and Joseph to travel to the city of Bethlehem, far away from where they lived. The king had ordered everyone to go to Bethlehem to be counted so he could know how big his kingdom really was. Traveling while pregnant was not easy, but God's plan was for Jesus to be born in Bethlehem. So off to Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph went. When they got to Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph found themselves in a very crowded place. Everyone was required to stay with family and every room was completely full. Mary and Joseph ended up staying in the only place left, the lowest level of the home, the place where the animals were fed and kept at night. Jesus was born with animals nearby and surrounded by his new family on earth. It wasn't an easy journey, but wow, what a plan. Even when times were hard or confusing, Mary and Joseph knew they could celebrate God's plan. The Bible tells us that Mary treasured these things in her heart. She knew something special was happening. With the strangest of circumstances, God set the stage for Jesus to save the entire world. That's great news! We can celebrate God's plan. Hey, Kurt, you found that sheep yet? Uh, back to the story, Gatto. Um, now, with that story, what do you think God's messengers to Mary and Joseph and Matt have in common? I don't know. I guess you got to plan both of them. Yeah. If you didn't plan a message, then it might just say the wrong thing. Like getting a pigeon to take a bit of paper to 
So it's like, you gotta yeah. plan it all out. Like, mm -hmm. teach the bird. And then a map. We all know what happens if you don't plan that out. Your house ends up looking not quite no, like your actual house. It looks a bit messy. Almost. Yeah. But like, why do we use maps sometimes? We use maps to get to one place or another. Yeah, when you're lost, you'll use a map, see you're where lost. you are. To mm -hmm. calculate a distance yeah. and all that. See how long it's going to take you to get somewhere. Sometimes I just use maps on my phone because it just tells me automatically. Mm -hmm. Pretty easier than, yeah. that's about 5k, so that's going to take me about a few minutes, yeah. Easy. But most of the time it's a destination that we're excited to go to. Definitely. Cool, that brings us back to the big idea for today. Big idea? Well, we didn't bring it up earlier this week. Oh, yeah. Well, we <laughs> so didn't repeat that, it earlier, we said it earlier. Yeah, we've we repeated it a few times, I think. So the big idea is that we can celebrate God's plan. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So when we celebrate God's plan, we know that God's purpose is greater than any other plan we could have for ourselves. And when we follow the plan, the result is always something good. or well, something to celebrate because it's for God's purpose. That's pretty cool. I like mm -hmm. that. Man, God's plan is pretty big. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy on my part of it. I hope you are happy yeah. about being part of God's plan. Pretty happy. Should we repeat it on three? Okay. I'll count it, mate. Oh, okay. My job always. Yeah, that's true. Three, two, one. We can celebrate God's plan. I just froze. <laughs> I was ready with the okay, piano. Yeah, sorry, sorry, just, yeah. Right, thanks for being with us today. This is all about God's plan and we'll see you next week. Catch you guys. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me, your life was given, you loved me, you loved me, so I live forever, you saved me, you saved me, you made a way for me, you came to set me free, I believe in Jesus, I believe he came to save Jesus Christ I will trust in Jesus I will live to follow Him I will trust in Jesus Christ You came from heaven You loved me, you loved me Gave up all you had You saved me, you saved me Your life was given You love me, you love me So I live forever You saved me, you saved me You made a way for me You came to set me free I believe in Jesus I believe He came to save in Jesus Christ I will trust in Jesus I will live to follow Him I will trust in Jesus Christ Clap, clap, clap if you feel it Sing, sing, sing like you mean it Clap, clap, clap if you feel it I believe, I believe, I believe Clap, clap, clap if you feel it Sing, sing, sing like you mean it Clap, clap, clap if you feel it I believe, I believe, I believe Clap, clap, clap if you feel it Sing, sing, sing like you mean it
not going to do it half. That's it. Oh.